السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا بكم أيها الطلاب الكرام It's time now for our normal الأجوبة للأسئلة Our answers for the questions This is for lesson 3 And we had a total of 34 questions And that's the two included for extra credit So really you had 32 questions The entire test is worth 69 points and then you have an extra two points for extra credit so let's go ahead and begin number one let me grab my pen number one two three and four are worth two points each so we said the teacher is sitting we are going to say al mudarrisu Jalisun. And you guys by now already know our grading system. You lose half of a point for a spelling mistake. If the word is incorrect, you lose one whole point. And if you go over time by uh, 30 seconds, you lose half. If your haraka is wrong, you lose a third. <clears throat> now, uh, we always want our students to get at least 80% before moving on. Now, this is question number one. Al-Mudarrisu Jalisun. Here we said the boy is sitting. So we're going to say Al-Waladu. I'm sorry, I said sitting. The boy is standing. Al-Waladu Waqifun. Al-Waladu Waqifun. The milk is cold. I almost said el milk. That happens sometimes. Uh, the milk is cold. Now you can use the word el leban or you can substitute it with the word al halib. Either one is fine. El lebanu baridun. Number four, it says the water is hot. Al-ma'u Harun Alright Now you can write al-ma' that way You can make the Back line there Where that's considered the meme uh, I think we're going out of the area But you can do uh, The meme that looks like that also All of it is Al-ma'u, al-ma'u, al-ma'u Al-ma'u harun. And remember, for this section, the harakats are not really, uh, they're not going to deduct from your points. But the next se section, we will deduct from the points because that's what we asked for. Number five, all of these are worth two points each. Each word is worth one point. Number five, though, is worth five points. So it says, the house is far, al-baytu. Ba'idun. And then that's two words. Here's the third one. Wa al masjidu. And we said al masjidu qaribun. Okay. And that is worth five points. Let me erase this real quick now. Number six, the moon is big or large. Al Qamaru Kabirun Ba'ya Dhamatain Kaf. Al Qamaru Kabirun. The horse is beautiful. Al Hisa Nu Jami. Lun. Now again, when we talked about how you write these letters, al hisanu jami lun. We talked about writing these letters. We told you guys to get into the habit of drawing. It's just it's more uh, if quicker. It's fun for you. Um, otherwise, you know, you could still do it where you write out the letters quickly, uh, but. You don't write as quick when you do it that way where 
you know, it almost looks like a ain, but for people who are used to writing that way, uh, they'll know what those are. Okay. Al Hisanu Jamilun. Next, it's this is worth two points. Worth two points. Number eight, however, is worth five points. Al Hajaru. Thaqilun. Wa al waraku. Khafifun. That was done kind of sloppy because I was trying to write them and not draw them. Worth five points. The rock is heavy and the paper is light. Number nine, the shirt is dirty. Al qamisu wasikhun. And remember, <clears throat> we don't really say like qamis is that button shirt. Uh, they call it also shemiz, where it's a button shirt that people normally tuck in. Qamis uh, a lot of times is referred to as the long thobe. Um, so just know that this is not when you just say qamis, it just means one thing. It can mean the long thobe or it can mean your button shirt. Number... Let's see, we did the shirt is dirty. Number 10, the kerchief is clean. The handkerchief is clean. Al min di lu nari fun. Okay, and there you have all the way up till number 10. If you need more time to see what's on the board, uh, just go ahead and pause it. All for 1 through 10, they're all worth two points except number five it's worth five points and number eight it is also worth five points all right for this next part after uh number 10 it says here the directions were in arabic we've been learning this for months now while placing the appropriate halakat at the at the ends of the words Thumma tarjim, then translate. So for this section, you have 11 to 15. It's worth two points each. One for the bright harakah and one for the translation. You should write down al-qalamu with only one uh, harakah. If you have two, that means you lose half a point. Translation is Hada Qalamun. This is a pen. Himar. What do we put here? Sukun, Lamma, Kasra, Fatha, Himarun. A donkey. Next we have Ma. Ma un. Water. All right? Not the water, just water, any kind. Babun door or a door. Tanween, Lamatain, Lamatain, Lamma. And finally, Al Fakiru. Uh, that's not supposed to have two dots. Al Fakir. There we go. Al Fakiru. The word Fakir means a poor person. So when you say the faqir, it's like the poor person. Okay. That's for 11 to 15. Let's get rid of this. And move on to our next section. Here, 16 and 17, it says, Imla al faragh bil kalimatil munasiba. Fill in the blank with the appropriate word we had the word is broken i'm sorry uh yeah is open i should say and that means this word is going to be maftuhun. 
And the other word we had is is broken, which means mek su run. Doesn't matter; it goes past there. All right. So we had maftuh and maksur. Number sixteen says al babu maftuhun. That's what you should put. And number seventeen is maksurun al hajaru. Maksurun. Okay. Numbers eighteen to twenty-three. This was sixteen. This was uh, seventeen. And this is only worth one point each. That board is getting dirty. It's all right. I should hold for one more. This here, it says, this boy, number 18, this boy is rich. What's the word for this? Hada. What's the word for boy? Walad. Do we say hada walad? No, that means this a boy. You have to say this boy. You have to say al walad. Hada al walad. To say this boy, you have to say hada al walad because he's, he's specified. If you say, هَذَا وَلَدٌ ذَكِيٌ This is a smart boy. But we pointed him out. This is, or I'm sorry, we said, هَذَا الْوَلَدٌ غَنِي Here we go. So, the translation, I'll tell you guys again. غَيْن This boy is rich. هَذَا الْوَلَدُ This boy, غَنِيٌ, is rich. If you start changing things around, and let's say you said this, هَذَا وَلَدٌ غَنِيٌ This is a rich boy. This is a rich boy. As a, uh, compared to this boy is rich. هذا الولد غني And this one is هذا ولد غني This is the correct answer worth three points. Okay? If you did this one, that means you got this correct and you got this correct, but that would mean this one, you missed, uh, you got it incorrect. Okay? So you'd minus one point for that. Next, <clears throat> that merchant is poor. What's the word for that? Thalika attajiru. That merchant. The same thing we said for the first one, number eighteen, is the same thing that's going to happen here. That thalika attajiru faqirun. That merchant, you pointed him out. You're pointing him out and saying, this man, that boy, this merchant, that merchant. So if you want to say that, it has to be with the alif lam. That merchant is poor. Again, what if we said this? Tajirun Fakirun. Whoops. Disconnect that. Well, it's too late now. You know, it gets to a point where you can't fix it. Fakirun. Okay. If you did this, if you said Valika Tajirun Fakirun. That is a poor merchant. That is a poor merchant. As opposed, that merchant is poor. So both sentences are correct grammatically and everything. But what I asked for was this one. And if you did this one, you will miss one point because this does not match up with what I need here. And the other two are correct. 
worth three points. Next, this book is new. And now that I've explained that to you guys a couple of times, we're going to kind of just pass through them now. هذا الكتاب جديد هذا الكتاب is alif here جديد and the same thing as before this book is new next sentence the store is open الدكان مفتوح The store is open. The apples are delicious. At-tufahu. Ladidun. Okay. This has three words, so it's worth three points. Eight, uh, number 19 or 20 is worth three. Two words worth two, 21. And 22 is worth two points. Okay, At-Tufahu Ladidun. Finally, we get to number 23, Al-Khubzu Harun. Okay, different places will use the word har in some places will say hamin or hami um sakhin you know and those go to mean uh different things like typically sometimes you see the word har is like for spicy in different places will say uh, mulhib from luhba like uh, like you know like tabbat yada abi lahab so it comes from the same thing uh, like blazing, um, sakhin will be like really, really hot. So just different ones will use different words. But for now, we learned the word har. So let's stick to har. Al-khubzu, har. The bread is hot. Numbers 24, 25, 26, and 27. It says here, new instructions. For this next section, after 23, we're going on to 24. The instructions say, Tarjim min al ila al Injiliziyati. So it says, translate from Arabic to English. Hadha al Ghada'u min al Bayt. This question is worth four points and it means this lunch is from the house. Number 25, Al Rajulu Qasir. The man is short. Number 26, Al-Abu Rajulun Ghaniyun. The father is a rich man. The father is a rich man. And the same thing like we said before. Al-Abu Rajulun Ghani. Alright. And, you know, it would look like this. Uh, this would be a little longer. So... The father is a rich man. What happens if you said Al Abu Al Rajulu Al Ghani? It would be that you're saying the father is the rich man. Okay? And we have to do it that way because of what's called Na'at al Man'ut or Sifa and Mawsuf, which is when we get to it. We'll explain. It's the adjective of the words when you're describing something or someone. So it has to be this way. Number 27, as-sabunu jadidun. The soap is new. And finally, we get to the next section. Oh, by the way, number 24 is worth four points. 25 is worth two points. And 26 is worth three points. 27 is worth two points. Lastly, we have meanings of the words, okay? 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. 
They're all worth one point, and that's where the test ends. And the last two, 33 and 34, they are also worth one point each, but those are extra credit. We said al is face, worth one point. al means hand, also worth one point. al the nail, fingernail, or the toenail. Dhufr is nail, is worth one point. al the back. Not like go to the back of the line, your actual back. Dhahr. al meaning the entire head. al Now, we took the, the word isba has a lot of different ways of being said. You can say usbu, uh, right? And I remember back in the Jamia Islamiyah, they were basically saying most of the ways that, that word is said is correct. It's been said always. Isba, asbu, isbu. Like they were saying, from what I remember, that all the different ways that you say finger, it's all correct. Asadru is the chest. And like we said, finger and chest are two points extra. The whole test is out of 69. If you didn't get 80%, uh, I'm not sure how many you have to miss. I didn't do the calculation this time around, but I'm sure we'll put it at the end of the video. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you guys success in this life and the hereafter. Allahumma allimna ma yanfa'una wa anfa'na bima allamtana wa zidna ilman. وإلى اللقاء والسلام عليكم